What's up guys? Okay, so the Hero 6 just recently came out and I thought I would just do a quick video explaining to you guys whether maybe you should upgrade to the Hero 6 from what GoPro you've got and the reasons why I am not going to be upgrading to the Hero 6. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off by telling you guys why I'm not upgrading to the Hero 6 and then I'll give you guys some advice whether you guys should maybe upgrade to the Hero 6 depending on what GoPro you've got. Obviously, I wish I could give you a yes or no answer but I don't know any of you guys personally or your situation. So I'm just gonna give you guys like advice and the pros of cons of getting the Hero 6 then you guys can make your decision. But if you do want any like advice then drop me a comment down below and I will be sure to reply to it and give any suggestions I think. Okay so why am I not getting the Hero 6? Well I already have a Hero 3 Plus and a Hero 5 which I just bought last year so that's obviously a big reason why I don't need to upgrade the Hero 6. But there is also a few more reasons in the Hero 6 why I'm not going to be upgrading. There are some amazing features in the Hero 6 like 4K at 60 frames a second, I mean that's amazing. 2.7K at 120 frames a second, that's like also amazing. And 1080 at 240 frames a second. And then of course they've done amazing things with the stabilization. I don't know how they've done it, but they've made the GoPro on itself be like gimbal stabilization, which for me is the hardest reason I'm not going to be upgrading because I would love that so much. The thing is I am not upgrading because although the 4K at 60 frames a second and all of that stuff sounds amazing and I would really love that being me like a filmmaker and I love making that kind of stuff and I would love using 4K and 1080 at 240 frames a second. The reason I'm not is because of storage. I have to look at myself now and I think how often do I use 4K on my Hero 5? And truth is, I actually don't use 4K at all because it takes too much storage. How often do I use 120 frames a second on my Hero 5? I don't very often. I use it when I'm taking a shot and I'm thinking, okay, this I may want to slow down. So then I'll put on 120 frames a second. But it takes so much storage that usually I just use 60 frames a second or less. It just takes far too much storage to vlog in 4K for me. I've already got three four terabyte hard drives, one two terabyte hard drive, one one terabyte hard drive, and one 500 megabyte hard drive. And that's only using about 1080 at 60 frames a second being most of the time. Think about whether you can actually afford filming in 4K and 240 frames a second before you buy it. And for me, that's the reason I'm not buying it. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to maybe whether you guys should upgrade depending on what camera you have. If you've got less than a Hero 4 and you use your GoPro often and you've got the money, then I would go for it. I mean, the Hero 6 is an amazing camera. And if you've got less than a 4, then it's gonna be a massive jump up. And being waterproof without a case is absolutely amazing. I love that feature on my Hero 5. If you've got a Hero 4 or more, then I would really think carefully about it because you've already got 1080 at 120 frames a second and 4K at 30. You know, whether you're actually gonna use that 4K at 60 frames a second, how often you will use that 4K. If you're gonna use it, then go for it. And if you're gonna use 1080 at 240 frames a second, then go for it. Drop a comment down below if you want any advice. I'm sorry if this video was very complicated. I tried to put it out as simply as I could. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video and it was helpful to you, then smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new and haven't subscribed already, and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Even though this was a more serious video, I've still got to put something behind the end card, so uh, yeah, I guess this will do.